Make checks for the next level. drills to do leg checks we uh, we can do like a four-point drill where somebody will kick you medium and low and you're gonna go leg check so for instance um, you leg you will leg check leg check leg check leg check leg check same thing low leg check low 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 okay So that's another, that's one drill that you can use to uh, get proficient with doing leg checks. Primarily you will see, when you see a lot of modern Muay Thai fighters having tip, tip being light on their foot, you know, like this, it's because they're, they're ready to throw a leg check if they need to. You know? Boom, right? Boom. Checks. Boom. Boom. You know, so we always lie on our feet. Apparently now though it's a little different, we have to take into consideration uh, somebody who might try to grapple us or might try to take us down. So we don't necessarily want to just leg check um, and keep our, leg, keep our legs up in the air. We don't necessarily want to do that. We want to be able to leg check but also sprawl if we need to and react or even fish gel if we need to. So these are things that we can do aside from just leg checking because now we have to take into consideration somebody who might wrestle us or grapple us, take us to the ground. So we're no longer talking about talking about just stand up, we're, we're talking about uh, all types of fighting, just being being able to adapt to whatever you, you you're you know you're faced with. Another drill that we could do for leg checks is just you know when you're when you're hitting the the mitts or the pads is like check Boom, boom, punch right, check, and then kick, so check, boom, boom, you know, check, boom, check, 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 boom, check, boom, boom, check, check. And we can get a little fancier or more advanced where people are trying to really nail and kick your legs inside and out. You can turn inside, outside, up, cross, up. There's a lot of subtleties when it comes to doing leg checks because we can't really predict how a person is going to kick us, what, even if it's a round kick. There are different ways of throwing round kicks, so there's also different ways of throwing leg checks. Now, as I explained to you earlier, the most basic leg check is to simply lift your knee up, lift it up. Lift it up and check, right? And same thing with the low kick. Check low, if you will. But to be more, not just more subtle, but if you also want to think about the concept of attacking the attacker, you, you want to hurt the person who's trying to hurt you. So when we throw leg checks, you want to think about almost aiming your big knee, your knee, right? To the person's shin, so that way it will hurt the person. I'm sure you've already seen times when somebody kicked and their, their shin broke in half because they kicked somebody's uh, knee, the big bone if you will. This is what we want to think about or what we want to focus on when we, we want to think about attacking the attack with our leg checks. So when we check, boom, when we, when we check, we want to think about hitting the person's shin with our knees okay and the same thing with low, low the same thing with low kicks we can go like this boom, 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 boom. aim the knee to their shin even if it's a low kick going upwards boom boom and if you do that you will hurt the person's shin and sometimes you may even break it depending on how hard they hit you so this are these are the subtleties involved in doing leg checks so there's some sophistication in there and it takes a lot of practice so it's leg check is not just a leg check just like a punch is not just a punch, or a block is not just a block. 
you check instead of just checking. You're checking with the intent of stopping your opponent. Boom, boom, okay. Okay, checks. So the, these are the things that you, you also want to take into consideration as you climb the ladder of learning how to do uh, leg checks.